one thing I really like about the reformer workout is the seamless transitions between exercises where you go from one to the next to the next and there is a flow and so your body feels a rhythm. The system performed on the reformer is holistic. It has a beginning, it has a middle, and it has an end. So it has sort of this opening and then closure, much as the mat does. It's not only that you work strength only, but right away, combined with it, you work stretching, flexibility, also coordination. It has to do, of course, with how much you concentrate. So it's also the mind that uh, gets a workout. And then later on, when you start standing in the more balancing poses, you work on stability. And once it gets to an advanced level, or more advanced level, also, of course, stamina. I'm thrilled to present our third edition of the Universal Reformer Apparatus Series, which includes newly filmed classical workouts at every level. Hello, my name is Peter Fiasca, and I'm the director of Classical Pilates. Our mission is to preserve the heart and soul and technical forms of Joseph Pilates' original method. Universal Reformer workouts have flowing movement, rhythm, musicality, dynamics, and style. Feel the harmonious composition of your entire workout, how the integrity of each exercise relates to a symphonic arrangement of all exercises. Also feel your body's use of space, minimize unnecessary motion, and increase the seamless flow between exercises to create poetry in motion and to have more fun. With the utmost respect and admiration, I want to thank Bob Leakins and Alicia Ungaro two of the most celebrated people of the next generation who are devoted to keeping the Pilates method pure as a classical art form and science of the body. Hello, my name is Alicia Ungaro. I'm the founder and director of Tribeca Body Works and the author of Portable Pilates and Pilates Body in Motion. I'm very pleased to introduce this classical Pilates technique film because it demonstrates the key elements of the Pilates method, including dynamic rhythms, positive energy, clear aesthetic lines, and keen mental focus. The enormous success of the complete Pilates mat workout series has affirmed the importance of preserving Joseph Pilates' original work. It is my distinct pleasure to work together with Classical Pilates and also with Bob Leakins on such an important and valuable project. Hi, I am Bob Leakins. With this presentation of the Reformer workout, We'd like to show not only the beginner basic level, but we'd like to also introduce the advanced and super advanced levels. This will open to you the richness and the breadth of Joseph Pilates' work. Above all, he meant this work to be a workout, done with rhythm and flow, with control, and with a focused concentration, a workout for the mind as well. I hope you find this documentary of the reformer work inspiring. Enjoy. For those of you who are beginning your study and practice of the method, 
This introductory reformer workout shows several modifications of the regular basic reformer workout. Pilates is often described as movement flowing out from a strong center. Joseph Pilates referred to our center as the powerhouse, which is the middle band of muscles extending from the base of the rib cage down to just below the buttocks and inner and outer thighs. This area is the source and foundation for all movement in the Pilates method. To start the work on the reformer, we have to learn how to sit down with control. Ease yourself to one side of the frame and with one flowing motion lie down on the carriage. Footwork is the first. Open the toes wide, drape all ten toes over the foot bar, heels are lifted. The first five repetitions we lengthen out and pause at the end, giving a break to deepen the powerhouse and lengthen to the legs. The next five we work on flow and dynamic. This does not mean that we lose the control. Continue working from the powerhouse. The second variation of the footwork is on the arches. Place the middle of the foot, the middle of the arch over the foot bar. Drape the heels under and the arches and toes over. Once again, first work on precision. Lengthen long, deepen the powerhouse. Then, for the next five repetitions, work with flow. Dynamic out, dynamic in. Work the powerhouse in opposition through every repetition. Third position is on the heels. Pull the toes back to the knees. Lengthen long. So although we call this footwork, we work through the legs, up the abdominal wall, widen the ribcage, open the collarbones, lengthen the neck. So we also work the placement from the very first exercise. Then we flow with a vigorous dynamic, push and pull, working the springs. You push the springs out, you pull them back in. The last variation is the tendon stretch. Come back into the toes, lower the heels, lift the heels, lower, lower, lift, lift, lift. As you lower the heels, pull the powerhouse deep in and up in opposition. As the heels go down, you follow the springs. As you lift the heels up into the arch, you work against the springs. Always draw the inner thighs strongly together. And we work here also for 10 repetitions. From the footwork, we make the transition into the 100. Lower the foot bar, take all of the straps, deepen into the powerhouse and extend the legs to 45. Then we vigorously pump, inhale for five counts, and exhale for five counts. So what we're doing here is a deep, long in-breath and a deep, long out-breath, mentally counting for five. This helps to get the circulation warmed up, vigorously pumping gets the heart beating, the blood flowing, and the breath pumping. It is a warm-up exercise. Continue reaching through the arms, long, strong arms, and keep the legs long but soft, ease onto the knees. Reach the nose into the belly button, but make sure the base of the shoulder blades stay on the mat. With control, bring the carriage in, take the steps in one hand, lower the spring setting to two springs, and now we lengthen the straps with the extra straps. Make sure the strap goes through the leather and the wooden loop. Fasten with the hardware on the outside. Do the same with the other strap. Once again, make sure the hardware is on the outside and doesn't rub into the wooden handle. Once again, with control, lie down. Position the straps towards the heel of the foot, hardware on the outside and bend the knees. Lengthen out and the circles first will become squares. Lengthen out, open not wider than the frame, come into the powers and close. Honor every position. Lengthen out, widen into the powers, draw the inner thighs together. 
On the reverse, we now can cut the corners and go into circles. We work through the same positions. From the circles into the frog, deep in the powerhouse, away from the heels. With control out, with control and resistance in. Make sure the heels stop in front of the sit bones, so we don't pull the tailbone off the mat. Always work opposition. Powerhouse away from the heels. Draw the inner thighs strongly together. With one swift movement, take the steps off and position them into the well behind. Then we'll move into the stomach massage series. Bring the foot bar up, back to four springs, and place a pad onto the front edge of the carriage. Sit down behind the sit bones, rounding the back. Hold on to the front edge of the frame, deepen the powerhouse, lengthen away from the heels. Initiate from the powerhouse, in and up. So it is not leg work, it is truly a stomach massage. We massage the internal organs, in and up. Continue lifting the heels, so we stay out of the front of the legs and work on the inner thighs. Once we have the precision, we work through tempo. Even dynamic, resist in, resist out. A second variation goes on three springs, hands go behind to lift the back and open the chest. This time we add the tendon stretch. So from the powerhouse reach out, Lengthen the spine, lower the heels, lift the heels, and draw back in. Continue lifting the heels. Lift the chest and lift the gaze. Work first with a dynamic that honors every position. Clearly working through all the positions. Once we have the control, we can flow. Continuously and with control. The third variation, we take off another spring and lift the back and lift the arms. In here, reach out, lift the spine, exhale, lift and float taller. Continue lifting the heels as we lift the spine through the powerhouse, in and up. Now we move into the shore box, lower the foot bar lower the headpiece and position the box the short way between the screws and the shoulder blocks. Place the foot bar in front of the box. And position yourself in the center of the box about a hand width from the back edge. Secure the feet under the straps and the first variation will be the round back. Hug the abdominals, inhale roll back, hug even deeper, exhale roll back forward. Roll back to an about 45 degree angle. Deepen into the powerhouse on the way in and up. Activate the legs. Hold strongly onto the straps with the feet well hooked. Now lift the bar for the flat back. Open the hands as wide as the bar. Lift the spine, lift to the powerhouse, hinge back and lift even taller on the way in. Lift out of the side body, lift through the arms, up to the ceiling, release. Inhale on the way up and into the high diagonal, exhale back center. Keep the legs very active, reach in opposite directions. Then bring the collarbones in front of the hip bones for side to side, reach and come center. Lengthen and come center. Activate the legs, ground the sit bones and stretch to the side body. Inhale, lift long, exhale, center. Again, lengthen to both sides equally so we don't side bend or side shift. It is a tilt. Next series is the tree. First limbering, lift the back and lightly kick the lower leg up. Ease into the knee, 
lift the back. Hand over hand, climb into the tree. Stretch the leg, deep in the powerhouse. Come upright again and release. Second time we climb into the tree right away. Hand over hand to the very top, lengthen the leg, deep in the powerhouse, chin to chest. Make sure the left foot is firmly hooked as we walk down the tree. Lift up and lift up the back against the leg. At the beginner level, we hold the leg at a 45 degree angle, lengthening the arch and pushing to the heel will help to stretch the hamstrings. Deepen into the powerhouse as you walk down and lift the powerhouse up against the thigh. Lift the spine and change legs. First part, limbering. Lift the back tall, ideally perpendicular to the box. And gently ease the stretch into the knee, hamstring and calf. Hand over hand, climb into the tree, chin to chest, deep in the powerhouse. Walk down and release. Again, climb into the tree, make sure you have a straight leg, deep in the powerhouse. Now hang the weight of the upper body on the stretch. As you deepen the powerhouse back, extend the leg forward. Once again, at about a 45 degree angle, lift the spine, lengthen the arch, push the heel, and one more time, walk down the tree, deepen that powerhouse, keep the leg exactly where it is as you lift the spine upright, lift the powerhouse towards the thigh. Then we step off, get rid of the box and pole, and prepare for the first exercise of the long stretch series, which in this case will be the elephant. Foot bar comes up, step up near hand, far foot, other hand lift the powerhouse, other foot. Lift the powerhouse and draw in. Push out, inhale, lift the powerhouse, exhale, draw in. Inhale, lift the powerhouse, exhale. Make sure the weight is well into the heels, push the heels into the shoulder blocks and the mat. Lift all ten toes in the air. Lift the kneecaps, lift the powerhouse. Then with control, ease yourself down. Place the heels against the shoulder blocks, round the back. Push out the length of the shin bone, draw in with control. Lengthen out, lengthen the back. Deepen the powerhouse. Once again, the first half of the repetitions, and we do a total of 10, will be on a correct placement, correct alignment, deepening the powerhouse. The next five on tempo and dynamic. Accent is on the in, deepen the powerhouse as you bring the carriage with in. Second variation, arch the back. Lift the powerhouse, so to protect the lower back, arch the upper back. Once again, push out the length of the shin bone, control the going out, control the drawing in. Push away from the foot bar as you open the chest, lift the collarbones. The second set of repetitions with the accent and the dynamic. Exhale, in, in, exhale. The last variation, lift the powerhouse with control, hold. With control, bring down. Lift, then gentle, draw in. Keep the accent again on the in. The knees are about the height of the ankle bones of the mat. With control, bring the knees back down. Back to four springs for the running. Control the lying down, shoulders in front of the blocks, both feet on the foot bar. Initiate from the powerhouse, push the carriage out. Lower one heel, lift the other heel. Lift high up and alternate. Lift, alternate. Lift, so the lift is in the powerhouse and there is a good movement in the carriage. Accent is on the up. Lower the heel, lift the heel. Lower the heel, lift the heel. Then we work up the tempo, a running tempo. Continue lifting the carriage up because we deepen the powerhouse in and up. With control, come in for the last exercise, the pelvic lift. Place the middle of the foot at the corner of the foot bar, lift the back off the mat, make sure the base of the ribcage stays on the mat. Relax the top body into the underbody, soften the ribs. 
Then press the powerhouse away from the heels, lengthen with control and resistance, bring the carriage back in. We work with an even dynamic. On the last one with control, lower the pelvis, gently draw the knees into the chest for a little hug and stretch on the lower back, and with control, step off. And this completes the basic reformer intro. After you have successfully mastered the introductory reformer workout, you should be moving through your exercises in real time. It is customary to practice this complete basic reformer workout a minimum of 10 times before progressing to the intermediate level. The muscle memory and movement patterns that you develop now are essential to your success at the intermediate and advanced levels. This basic reformer workout shows how grace and strength are part of the Pilates method from the very beginning. When students first come to the Pilates studio, they come from different movement backgrounds. There are those of you who have little or no experience, and then there are the professionals that are highly trained in their respective disciplines. However, all of you at that point are beginners in the method. Therefore, we start all at the basic level for at least the first five sessions. The second basic reformer workout we show you here is obviously for the more experienced beginner. Once we are more familiar with the precision of the exercises and are clear about initiating from the powerhouse with every single exercise, we can work more on flow and dynamic. The footwork starts with reaching out, drawing in. Continue moving. In other words, keep the carriage always moving. You push the springs out, you pull the springs back in. We always initiate from the powerhouse. Arches, draw the inner thighs together. Once again, work with dynamic. Lengthen through the whole of the body. Draw the carriage in. Push the springs out. Resist and pull the springs back in. Onto the heels, toes back to the knees. Pick up the tempo slightly. Push and pull. Work the springs. Continue working to the whole of the body, pulling the toes to the knees, lengthening to the knees, drawing the inner thighs together, powerhouse in and up. So widen the chest, shoulders, collarbones, lengthen the neck. And the last variation is the tendon stretch. Lower the heels, two, three, and lift, two, three. Again, work with dynamic. Keep drawing the energy up the legs into the powerhouse, especially when you lower the heels. Work with opposition. Transition into the 100, lower the foot bar, take hold of the straps, bring the shoulders slightly in front of the shoulder blocks and reach out deep in the powerhouse as you vigorously pump. Inhale for five, exhale for five counts. Continue reaching the arms and fingers forward, reach the legs long but soften in the knees. Reach the nose into the belly button, careful that the base of the shoulder blade stays on the mat. Vigorously pump up and down above the abdominal wall. We pump into the powerhouse. The 100 works in order to get the circulation going. Deep percussive breaths. Continue lifting the legs at a 45 degree angle to make sure that you work into your powerhouse. Straps in one hand to two springs. It will go into the leg circles and frog. For that we have to lengthen the straps, put on the extra straps. We try to make the transitions as quick as possible, but at the same time make sure you do it correctly. Hardware on the outside and away from the wooden handles. With control lie down, place the straps towards the heels, 
and come down. Pause from there, reach into the frog and circle into the powerhouse as wide as the frame lengthen out. Always make sure you draw back into the powerhouse and lengthen out of the powerhouse. Keep the circle steady and even. The reverse works the same positions. Always careful not to pass the plumb line, not to go past 90 degrees. From the leg circles into the frog, deep in the powerhouse, in and up, away from the heels. Lengthen out and resist in. Once again, try to keep the carriage moving at all times. It never stops. In one swift movement, get rid of the straps, ease them down in the well, and we move on to the stomach massage series. Back to four springs, foot bar up, and place a pad on the carriage. Notice the similarity between the frog and stomach massage. Stomach massage is the frog in a seated position. Deepen the powerhouse away from the heels, lower and lift. Deepen, lower and lift. Always initiate from the powerhouse. Continue lifting the spine up and over, lengthening to the neck. Open the elbows wide to the side to create space and length in the whole of the back. Second variation on three springs, place the hands behind. With the arms, lift the spine, open the upper body, lift the collarbones and lengthen the neck. Keep the rhythm flowing. Out, lower, lift and come in. All the while lifting the spine out of the waist, out of the pelvis. Careful not to lean too much in the shoulder blocks. The lift comes through the powerhouse, through the abdominal wall. Into the third variation, reaching up. Inhale, reach out, lengthen the spine and lift taller as you exhale. Inhale, lift through the powerhouse, lengthen the waist, lengthen the side body. Pull the whole upper body out of the seat. Continue lifting the heels, working strong in the upper inner thighs. Then lower the foot bar, lower the headpiece for the short box series. Make sure you center the box on the frame and have a seat in the middle of the box. Position yourself about a hand width from the back edge and securely hook the feet under the strap. Round back first, hug the abdominals, inhale back, hug even deeper and exhale, come back through. Inhale, chin to chest, ribs in, hug the abdominals, gently wrap the buttocks. We initially started coming down to a 45 degree angle. As we get stronger, we can come down to about parallel to the floor, not deeper at the basic level. This to protect the spine. After the round back, the flat back. Take hold of the bar, lift to the side body, inhale, lift. Lift even taller when you come in, release. Lift to the side body, the side ribs, lengthen to the arms, reach for the ceiling. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way out, lift even taller. Continue flowing back and forth. Then bring the collarbones in front of the hip bones for side to side. Inhale, reach out, exhale, center. Inhale, lengthen and come center. Make sure to draw down the opposite hip to anchor the pelvis. Equal weight on both sit bones. Activate the legs. Firmly hook the feet under the strap. Make sure both sides of the body are even. Then we move into the three. If you are more limber in the hamstrings, you can bring the thigh closer to the body. Lift the back up, climb into the three, chin to chest. Draw into the powerhouse, pull the leg this time a little higher and walk down the tree. Deepen your powerhouse and again lift the back up against the leg. 
deep into the powerhouse, walk down, activate both legs, lift the spine, and eight third repetition. Reach for the ideal where the leg is perpendicular to the box at the highest point. Reach to the heel for a final stretch. Once again, lift into the limbering, lift the back rather than the leg. Climb into the tree, deepen the powerhouse and roll back. Hand over hand down, deepen and come up. Always lift the back against the leg. You climb into your tree. Activate both legs, also the right kneecap. Pull up in that right leg. Initiate from the powerhouse. Bring the leg now to a full perpendicular to the box position. And the last one, reach to the heel and lengthen. From the short box series, we move into the elephant. The foot bar comes up, headpiece comes up, to come up, near hand, far foot, far hand, lift the powerhouse and other foot, lift the powerhouse and draw under, under, under. Lift the powerhouse. Keep lifting the heels, reach the heels into the shoulder blocks and mat, in opposition to the powerhouse. With control, lower the knees and place the heels into the blocks. Round the back, into the knee stretch series. Now we flow for the full repetitions. Accent is in and up, up into the powerhouse. Push away from the foot bar with long fingers so we don't grip. Arch the back, but the arch happens in the upper back. We lift the powerhouse to protect the lower back. Push out for the length of the shin bone and draw in with an accent. Round into the third variation. Lift the knees, the height of the ankle bones off. And accent on the in, in. Exhale, exhale. The knees stay the height of the ankle bones on the way in. Lift the powerhouse in opposition. Then with control, lower the knees and we step off for the running. Back to four springs. With control, ease yourself on the carriage. Feet parallel on the foot bar, deep in the powerhouse and right away for 20 running. Articulation of the ankles, feet. Working all the way up through the placement of the pelvis, powerhouse spine. Widen the collarbones, lengthen to the neck. Keep a vigorous tempo as we regulate the breath. Ease the carriage in for the final exercise, the pelvic lift. Lift the pelvis up, but make sure the base of the ribcage stays on the mat. Soften the chest, soften the ribs, soften the belly. Reach the pelvis away from the heels, draw back in with resistance. Lengthen and draw in. Keep the dynamic even and slow down. This is a cool down exercise to complete the workout. Ease the pelvis down, bring the knees into the chest and with control step off. And this completes the more flowing basic reformer. At the intermediate level, several exercises you learned in the basic series will increase in difficulty. As you develop strength and flexibility learning these new exercises, you should also continue to concentrate on the fundamental principles introduced in the basic Pilates series. Becoming more proficient in the Pilates method allows you to focus more upon breathing. Mr. Pilates himself wrote, above all, learn to breathe correctly. In the Pilates method, proper breathing is an effective tool that is meant to enhance, ease, and give energy to your movements. Generally, we inhale as the carriage moves away from the foot bar and exhale as the carriage returns. However, do not allow the breath to become a source of tension or distraction. It is more important to feel the breath naturally. The next level is the intermediate reformer. We continue building on the experience of the basic reformer, adding new challenges. Once again, with control, ease yourself onto the carriage. Footwork is the first. Toes apart, heels lifted, and of course, deepening the powerhouse. 
It is the powerhouse that brings the carriage out. It is not leg work. It is working on length and placement. So we not only stretch the legs, we also lengthen through the pelvis, through the abdominal wall, the spine all the way through the neck. Second variation on the arches. Really press the middle of the foot into the foot bar, draping the toes over like a bird on a perch. Make sure the knees stay firmly together, hugging that midline. Strongly working in the center of the body. Third variation picks up the tempo. We push the carriage out and pull it in. So you are working the springs. Every time you bend the knees, pull the toes to the knees, creating resistance. Last variation on the toes tendon stretch. Stretch the heel, follow the springs, lift up against the springs. The lower the heels, the more you lift up into the powerhouse. We work stabilizing through opposition. After the footwork, the 100. Try this time to grab the handles and lower the foot bar simultaneously. Start with the legs at 45 degrees. Long arms, vigorously pumping, only pivoting in the shoulders. The elbows are long, the wrists are long, the fingers are long, thumbs with the fingers. Widen the collarbones, slide the shoulder blades down the back, so the base of the blades are still on the mat. Lengthen through the back of the neck, reaching the gaze into the center. Keep the legs long but soft, easy on the knees. As transition, take the strap in one hand, in one flowing motion, take off two springs, lower the headpiece, ready for short spine massage. Shorten the straps. Simultaneously bend both knees, lift the powerhouse and slip the straps onto the feet. Once again, more towards the heels. Straps reach out in the frog, bring the carriage in. Lower the knees towards the blocks, deepen the powerhouse, lengthen through the spine. Always work the powerhouse, lengthen through the spine. So we stretch small of the back, hence the name short spine massage. Make it one continuously flowing movement. Then take hold of the handles Transition into coordination, lengthen out inhale, hold the breath as you open and close the legs with control. Exhale, deepen the powerhouse, knees to nose, lengthen to the elbows, in with the air. Hold the breath as you deepen the powerhouse. Exhale, reach to the fingers, lengthen to the knees, lengthen to the elbows, complete the exhalation. Again, flow, open and close, reach deepen and deepen. Take the strapless in one hand, place them down with control. For our next exercise, we go to the high barrel. In with the air, lift, out with the air, reach back. In with the air, extend the legs, exhale, reach back. One more in-breath, hold, and on the last exhalation, drape yourself back over the barrel. Once again, with flow, inhale, lift through the powerhouse, exhale. Straighten the legs on the in-breath, Exhale again, lift through the powerhouse. Inhale, lengthen long, pause. Exhale, ease yourself back down of the barrel. One last time, inhale, exhale, really let the breath flow. Lengthen to the powerhouse, lift and protect the lower back, arch in the upper back. Stretch long and ease yourself down of the barrel, lengthen. Then we return to the reformer, 
for the long box series. This time we place the box lengthwise in front of the shoulder blocks. Line yourself up with the shoulders flush with the back edge of the box. Take hold of the straps, lengthen to the legs and the neck. Inhale, open the chest, reach. And release with control. Initially we keep the neck long, working just in the upper back. Slide the shoulder blades down the ribcage and come up to just the base of the chest muscle. On our second variation, the T, we slide the hands back over the strap. Now lengthen the arms all the way back over the buttocks. Widen to the side, lengthen to the legs, lengthen to the crown of the head. Always initiate from the shoulder blades. Lengthen sideways and lengthwise. Lift the powerhouse into the back. Then take the straps in one hand. Add a second spring for the swimming backstroke. Sit down all the way in front of the box. By the time you lie down, the shoulders are in front of the back edge. Inhale up to the ceiling, exhale to the side. Reach forward, inhale, deepen and deepen. Exhale, return to the starting position. Inhale, exhale, deepen the powerhouse. Crunch deeply into the abdominal wall, return. Continue reaching to the fingers, reaching into the center. And one last time. Make sure the arms and legs go in a small V. Take the steps in one hand, transition one spring into the teaser series. Bring tension onto the springs, chin to chest, ribs in, deepen the powerhouse and come into the teaser position. Every time scooping the powerhouse in and up. Three repetitions and with control, lie back down. Hold the tension on the strap. Second repetition, lift the arms, lift the legs, lift the chest. With control, ease yourself down to the box, hold the tension on the straps. Third time, lift even higher above the head. Continue lifting not only the arms, also the legs and the chest, deepening the powerhouse in and up. With control, ease yourself down. Then take the straps in one hand and place them in the well. We now turn the box the short way for the short box series. Center the box, two springs and prepare the pull. Sit in the middle of the box, a hand width from the back edge, strong legs firmly holding onto the straps. We start with round back. Hug the abdominals into the back. Roll small of the back down, sacrum touching the box. Deepen the powerhouse on the way up. In with the air on the way down. Out with the air as you come back forward. This time we can go all the way over the box, stretching into the well. Chin to chest, ribs in. Hug the abdominals, wrap the buttocks. The next step will be reaching the arms overhead. Lengthen, stretch, bring the arms up simultaneously and ease yourself through the hug back center. Next variation is the flat back. Lift the bar and lengthen the spine up and center. Inhale on the way back, exhale on the way up. Hold the firm base, strong legs, firmly hanging onto the strap. Side to side, collarbones in front of hip bones. Lengthen and stretch, lengthen and lift. Inhale, exhale center. Inhale, reach to the opposite side, exhale center. Next challenge, add the twist. Reach and center. 
twist, lengthen, twist and reach through the side body, making sure that both sides of the body stay equally long. Notice how the base stays firm. Pelvis is square, legs are strong and even. The three, first limbering, lift the back into the leg, gentle stretching the hamstrings. Then climb into the tree, deepen the powerhouse, pull the leg back, this time perpendicular to the box, and walk down the tree, deepening the powerhouse. Initially, we only go to the level of the box. Lift the spine up. Once again, initiating from the powerhouse, pull the leg up. Walk down, deepen the powerhouse, Try to first lift the navel, then lift the chest, then lengthen to the full spine. Last one. Walk all the way down. And this time extend the spine into the well. Keep the leg strong and also work the standing leg, in this case the left. Limbering first, lift the back. So the back has a right angle to the box. Climb into the tree, holding on to that very uplifted spine. Then deepen the powerhouse, pull the leg perpendicular to the box, and climb down the tree. Hold the leg under the strap very strong. Always making sure to start the action from the core. Lift the navel to the thigh, chest the height of the knee, and lengthen to the neck. On the last one, we'll go all the way off the box. Pull both kneecaps up strongly. Strong, active legs. Place the box back and we prepare now for the long stretch series. Headpiece comes up and place a pad on the headpiece. Then bring the foot bar in the upright position and in one smooth flowing motion come into your plank position. Deepen the powerhouse in and up to bring the carriage back and forth. Make sure the heels stay over the toes and the shoulder blades slide down the back. Lengthen through the side neck, creating one continuous line. The second variation is the down stretch. Bring the knees down to the carriage, place the heels against the blocks. Lift the lower body, inhale back, slowly empty the lungs. Once again, inhale, deepen the exhalation. Lift to the lower body, lift the chest. Last time, really squeeze all the air out of the lungs. So much so that we float up to the fingertips. And a clean transition into the up stretch. Fold in half, reach out, wrap the tailbone under and come in. Keep the powerhouse lifted in and up. And with control, lower the heels, lift the toes into the elephant. Once again, the powerhouse is in and up. At this level, we pick up the flow, reach out one count, come in for three counts. And we add the challenge, one-legged elephant. Reach the leg back and make sure both buttocks are even, hips are in one line. Lift the powerhouse up, keep the ribs lifted into the spine. Reach to the back heel as you draw the standing heel under. Continue lifting all five toes in the air. Resist the carriage in. Next is the stomach massage series. Place four springs and a pad on the carriage. Sit to the front edge of the carriage with the tailbone well curled under. Take hold of the sides and from the powerhouse push out. Lower the heels, lift the heels. Always make sure that you initiate from the powerhouse. 
not only in, but also up. So we don't compress the lower back. We lengthen the spine, curving the spine up and over, making sure that the shoulders are placed over the hips. Second variation, take off a spring, hands go back. Place the hands with the hand palms facing each other. This allows the shoulders and the chest to open even more. Although the lower back is curled under, the upper back is lifting and opening. On this second variation, we pick up the tempo. Work with a crisp flow. Take off. Another spring and reaching up. Make sure you spend more time in lifting and less on the preparation when you're out. Continue reaching to the spine Continuing through the arms and the fingertips. As a next step, we add a twisting motion through this last variation. Inhale on the way up. Exhale as you ring the lungs empty in the twist. Make sure you square off the pelvis and we only twist from the waist. Continue lengthening through the spine, reaching to the crown of the head. The next exercise is the semicircle. Lower the foot bar, bring yourself all the way to the front of the carriage, place the toes on the foot bar and the heels on the frame, then press out. First movement, sink into the springs. Push out, lift the pelvis and come floating in. Down with control, out, lift the pelvis and reach forward. This exercise gives you a great stretch in the hips on the way forward and on the reverse it opens the upper body, chest and shoulders. Try to keep the carriage still when it's out and you drape yourself down to the springs. The edge of the carriage is just under the shoulder blades. On the last one bring the carriage all the way in, take the arms forward and take hold of the ankles. Deepening the stretch, make sure the knees stay as wide as the hips. With control, slide back, head between the shoulder blocks, ease the carriage in and then step off. We now prepare the straps for the leg circles and the frog. Once again, put on the extra straps, bring the handle and the leather loop together, slip the extra strap through and make sure the hardware is on the outside. Also double check if the leather strap is flat and not twisted. Then you lie down and place the strap towards the heel of the feet. Bring the arms alongside by the body and pause. Extend the legs out and start the circling. Make sure not to go wider than the frame of the reformer and not lower so the straps do not touch the shoulder blocks. This range will deeply work into your powerhouse. Always work with the accent into the powerhouse. The action is to deepen and lift. The frog works in opposition to the deepening of the powerhouse. Careful when you bend the knees in that the tailbone stays firmly planted into the carriage. Open the knees only as wide as the shoulders. Place the straps into the well, lift the foot bar and we prepare for the knee stretch series. Place the heels against the blocks, sit back towards the heels round to back and with a vigorous tempo, accent on the in, work the powerhouse rounding the back. Second variation, arch the upper back. Lift the powerhouse to protect the lower back. Continue pushing away from the foot bar. Slide the shoulders on the back, lift the powerhouse and once again work with a strong rhythm, accent on the in. The last 
With control, bring the knees down. Return the spring setting to four springs for the running. Center yourself deep in the powerhouse, in and up, and work with a nice, vigorous up tempo. Make sure you bring a lot of movement to the carriage, up and up and up, and press the heel up into the arch. Pelvic lift, lift the pelvis until the lower ribs are about to come off. Then make sure the sacrum stays in the same plane. The tendency will be to lift the sacrum on the way in and to let it come down on the way out. Try, however, to keep that sacrum in the same plane. Continue softening the top body. Soften the chest, the ribs, the belly. And on the last one, gently lower the body down. Then with control, step off and we prepare the reformer for the side splits. Lower the foot bar and use two pads. We work on two springs initially. Eventually, the exercise is done on one spring. Place the pad securely under the foot bar and then step up in the center, first on the stable part. Step to the frame and then shimmy your foot out until the foot hits the shoulder block. Make sure the weight is on the outer edges of the feet. We don't turn out, we have the feet fully parallel. Push out and hold for three counts. Then draw the inner thighs together, lift through the powerhouse and hold for another three counts, working the strength and working your balance. Then with control, step the foot back in from the frame to the carriage and turn around. Once again, first the stable part, which is the frame, then walk the foot out, block yourself against the shoulder block. Make sure to work even. Always remember, the springs bring the carriage in. You work on lifting up. Hold and hold on the out as well. With control, bring the foot in. Always end on the carriage and then step off. The next exercise will be the front splits. Bring the foot bar up and we work on two springs. First step on the carriage and work in pilates stance. One foot comes up on the foot bar, the other foot goes back to the shoulder blocks and make sure you hold on to that same pilates stance angle. Keep the upper body heavy over the front thigh. Press out and then draw in. Keep weight in the back heel. Try to have the front heel lower than the foot bar and keep weight in the pelvis. Second part we come up, bring the front thigh parallel to the floor and work on balance. Make sure the pelvis is square. So draw the right hip back, pull the left hip forward. The last part we lower the knee and parallel the leg. First stretch front, hence the name front splits. Then gently push out and continue lengthening forward in and up. So the work is done up front. Changing legs. Make sure the weight on the back foot is on the outer edge of the foot and into the heel. Sink the pelvis down, let the upper body be heavy. Square the hips, in this case bringing the right hip forward, pull the left hip back. This time for an added challenge to the balance, bring the hands behind the head, gently press the head into the hands, opening the shoulders and chest. With control bring the arms forward, lower the leg, parallel. Once again, pull front first, then open. 
lengthen. Square the hips as much as possible. And then lifting into the powers one more time, in and up. And that completes our intermediate reformer workout. Performing the advanced Pilates workout will help your body achieve the highest levels of precision, strength, flexibility and grace. At this point, increasing efficiency of movement both within and between exercises is essential. A primary goal is to remove extraneous movement. Movement by nature is continuous, so to achieve maximum flow, we must minimize unrelated motion. Avoid making unnecessary movements when adjusting the foot bar, spring settings, or straps for each exercise. An additional goal during this strenuous yet wonderfully complex workout is to enhance mental focus. Finally, this advanced workout will enhance your balance, control, and coordination, thereby preparing your body and your mind for the rigorous demands of daily life. The advanced Pilates workout requires steady discipline and regular practice. Ideally, you should be guided by a certified Pilates instructor. In the advanced work, we concentrate more on flow and rhythm. We start with the footwork. First variation, toes apart, heels together. The heels are lifted and all ten toes are firmly on the foot bar. Work the carriage in and out from the powerhouse, deepening in and up. The second variation, we pick up the tempo, we pick up the dynamic, push and pull the carriage in. The carriage is always on the move, continuously deepening the powerhouse. On the heels, variation is even more vigorous. Push and pull. Every time you bend the knees, pull the toes up to the knees. Keep the tempo as you go to the tendon stretch. Together with the 100, which follows the footwork, these two exercises are meant to be a thorough warm-up. At the advanced level, we now can lower the legs at two inches above the foot bar further challenging the work in the powerhouse. Lengthen through the arms, lengthen through the legs and reach the nose into the center. Vigorously pump the arms and have the arms above the abdominal wall. Strongly inhale for five counts and exhale for five counts. Make sure that the last pumps are as vigorous as the first. We turn now to two springs for the overhead. Lower the headpiece, lengthen the legs, lengthen the arms. Sweep the arms down and the legs overhead. Up to the ceiling, place the feet in front of the face and lower with control. Up, lengthen through the legs, reach to the arms and simultaneously arms and legs back to their starting position. Articulate the spine, massaging the vertebrae into the carriage. We come to a complete stop, then bend the knees into the coordination. Inhale, hold the breath, exhale, reach to the fingers, reach to the elbows. Deepen the powerhouse in opposition of the legs reaching out, and deepen even further as you draw the legs back in. We can add a variation, little beats. Continuously deepen in and up in the powerhouse. Make sure the base of the shoulder blades stays on the mat. Take the steps in one hand, in one sweep come around, and then take off and spring for the rowing series. This first series works the front of the body, so draw into the sternum, 
Second one, open the arms without moving the carriage. On the third step, pull the carriage. On the fourth one, again, don't move the carriage as you bring the forehead down to the legs. Step five, clasp the hands at the base of the spine. Lift up, with control, circle the elbows towards the ears and stretch. Once again, into the sternum, deep in the powerhouse, strongly. Make sure the straps stay above the shoulder blocks. Open to the side, press back. Without moving the carriage, come over and forward. Stretch down into the well, then up, and circle the arms with control around. One more time. Wrap the buttocks deep in the powers, draw into the sternum. Always make sure you stretch down before you reach up. Then we work on the second variation. 90 degree angles, a right angle between lower and upper arm, and between upper arm and torso. Reach the arms long alongside the frame, then circle, slide the shoulder blades down the back, and we finish the same way as the previous variation. This time we go deeper, 45 degrees, lengthen forward, stretch down into the well, circle the arms around with one flowing continuous movement. Always lift the powerhouse so we don't collapse over the legs. Then we face forward and work the rowing on the back. This first variation, we try to sit up as tall as possible. With the help of the arms, lift the spine, reach up and open wide to the side. We start from the chest, in with the air, lift the spine, out with the air, grow even taller. Inhale, lift, grow even taller, exhale as you reach the crown to the ceiling. One more, long arms, long legs and a long spine. On the second variation, flex the heels, press into the heels, sit up tall, shoulders on the back, lift up to the ceiling and open wide to the side. Roll down, no breath, inhale, reach forward, exhale, lengthen. Inhale, lift, touch the ceiling and exhale, come upright. One more time, from the hips into the heels, shoulders on the back, lift out of the sit bones, touch the ceiling with the fingertips and the crown and reach. A third variation is the shaving, reach up, Place the hands behind the neck. Lengthen the lower back out of the sit bones. So we concentrate here on the back, not the arm movement. It is the fingertips that lift the spine out of the pelvis. Make sure the elbows stay behind the plane of the ears. And the last variation is the hug. Make sure to change the legs. Sit up nice and tall. Reach out of the waist. Lift every time you bring the arms forward. Inhale, exhale, grow even taller. The second half of your repetitions, you can reverse the breath. Exhale as you press forward. Inhale as you sit up tall. Then place the straps into the well and we'll go to the high barrel for swan on the barrel. In with the air, up, exhale, reach back. Inhale, lengthen the legs. Exhale, lift up to the ceiling, lift through the powerhouse. Inhale, reach long, hold, and exhale, flow over the barrel. Once again, in with the air, out with the air, lift through the powerhouse, in and up. Lengthen, make sure the heels stay together and on the second rung. Reach long through the whole body and melt over the barrel. One more time, flowing in the breath. Inhale, lift, exhale, over, lift taller. Inhale, reach long, hold and exhale, finish over the barrel. Then we return to the reformer for pulling off the straps on the long box. Place the box lengthwise on the carriage in front of the shoulder blocks. Take hold of the straps and lie down. Position yourself so that the shoulders come in line with the front edge of the box. Lengthen to the legs, lengthen to the crown, open the chest and with control come down. Work right between the shoulder blades, making sure we don't lift in the middle back, just the upper back. Lifting the collarbones, lengthening through the neck. Second variation is the T. Swing the arms way back, reaching over the buttocks. 
always return back to a neutral position, long line from the crown to the tips of the toes. For a quick transition, straps in one hand, step off, add the second spring, and sit in the front of the box for the swimming backstroke. Draw the knees in, arms in, and inhale up to the ceiling, open to the V, exhale, reach, deepen, deepen, and return. Inhale, up, open, exhale, again, deepen into the powerhouse, roll in, and reverse, deepen again, then open to the side, up to the ceiling, and in. One more time, reach, make sure you go higher and deeper, up, and in. Transition into the teaser. Keep the legs nice and tall, one spring, and bring tension on the straps. First variation, arms up and down. Lift into the powerhouse. Bring the arms at least as high as the forehead. As you lift the arms, lift the legs and lift the chest. With control, roll down for one count. Hold tension on the straps, come up into circles, circling open. Continue lifting the legs, sharpening the V of legs and upper body. With control down, one count, and reverse circles, all the way up, inhale on the effort, lift, and with control down. Then we sit back for the horseback. Position yourself about a hand width from the back edge, and deep in the power as you stretch the arms, careful not to go higher than forehead. Draw the inner thigh strongly into the box, firmly deepening the powerhouse. One more time, slide the shoulder blades down the back to finish, flex the feet, lower the arms, and sit down. Now we turn the box, short box, for short box series. Center yourself on the box, a hand width from the back edge. Firm the legs. The feet are firmly under the strap and hip width apart. We always start with two halfway to prepare the spine for the deeper back bend. Then extend all the way over into the well. Chin to chest, ribs in, hug the abdominals and come through. A further challenge will be reaching the arms overhead. Gently stretch, make sure the arms come simultaneously back onto the belly. Into the flat back, reaching up. Hold on to firm legs and a square pelvis. Every time you come back up, lift even taller. Notice the flow of the exercise. Into side to side, stretch and come center. Lengthen center. Always regain that center line. As an added challenge, we now work into the twist and reach. Lengthen to both sides of the body equally. Always return center. Make sure the pelvis is square and we twist from the waist. If fun variation is the magic wand, lengthen, reach, reach even further and with resistance bring the bar center again. Into the tree. Limbering first, lift the back and kick the leg up a couple of times. Then climb into the tree, hand over hand to the top. Lift, deepen the powerhouse, bring the leg perpendicular to the box. Dive into the well, come up again. Try to keep the leg where it is and lift the navel up against the thigh. Second time. Try to keep the leg very active, also the leg that's under the strap. As a variation, we go to the side, open the leg fully to the side and Go into the well, keep the leg to the side and lift the back through the hip. Then cross the leg over, square the shoulders over the hips, deepen the powerhouse and stretch into the right buttock. Same on the other side, limbering first. Always make sure the back stays upright. Deepen the powerhouse, only then roll the spine back. Keep both legs very active, pull up both kneecaps. Keep the leg where it is and lift the navel. Very active in both legs. Lift the navel to the thigh, chest to the knee, forehead on the shin bone. To the side, fully open, but make sure the shoulders stay square over the hips. Keep the leg to the side as you press the back through the hip. 
then cross the leg over, once again square the shoulders and bow forward. After the short box series, long stretch series. So the box goes away, headpiece up, and bring the foot bar in the upright position. Make sure to place a pad on the headpiece. Right away, come into your plank position and reach out through the powerhouse, draw back in through the powerhouse. Also making sure that the heels stay over the toes and the shoulder blades slide down the back. Lower the knees for the down stretch. Place the heels firmly against the shoulder blocks. Reach the hips up and forward. The down stretch is strongly worked into the lower body first. Then open the ribcage, chest, and last the head goes. Inhale, exhale completely. Lift until the last drop of air is out of the lungs. Without moving the carriage, transition into up stretch. Draw the tailbone under and in. Fold in half, reach and again draw in. Notice that this time we keep the chin firmly locked into the chest. On the last one again, without moving the carriage, lower the heels, all ten toes in the air for the elephant. Pull in, up and in. Lift the powerhouse up away from the carriage. Resist the carriage coming in. The springs bring the carriage in, you resist. One-legged elephant, parallel leg first. Make sure the hips are square and the toes of the right foot in the air. We start with the carriage out, so the first move will be drawing the carriage in and up. Lift the powerhouse, keep the ribs in. An added challenge is the penché arabesque. Shoulders are square, but the hips open and the leg goes up into the air. The heels are halfway up the shoulder blocks. Once again, we resist the carriage on the way in, deepening the powerhouse in and up. The last of the long stretch series is the long back stretch. We face back, heels against the blocks, toes up. Press down, up and come in. A flowing rhythm with the accent on the up. Lower, reach out and lift the pelvis. Then we reverse, out, lower, come all the way in and lift up. Again, reach, draw in and lift. Strong arm and shoulder work, open the chest and lift the gaze. Then we prepare for the stomach massage series. Bring the pad this time all the way forward and we work on four springs. Position yourself all the way on the edge, tailbone curled under and the hands all on to the edge. From the powerhouse press out, lower the heels, lift and come in. Throughout the repetitions make sure you always initiate from the powerhouse. Draw the inner thighs together, lower and lift the heels. Strongly work on lifting the heels. Take off a spring, hands behind you. If we sit all the way forward now, it might be not possible to reach the shoulder blocks. Then we bend the elbows and place the fingers on the carriage. Continue lifting the upper body, opening the chest and lifting the gaze. Work with a crisp rhythm. Take off another spring and lift the arms up. With the arms, we lift the spine. Now lift the lower body, lift the powerhouse. Spend more time front and continue lifting the waist, side body out of the pelvis, into the twist. Inhale, lift front, exhale, twist. Inhale, ring the lungs empty. Make sure the pelvis is square and the heels line up. Now we work the tendon stretch. Lower the heels into the well and lift the toes. Press the carriage out and lift the powerhouse away from the heels. Keep in mind that the springs bring the carriage back in. So you can concentrate on lifting the powerhouse up. Try to keep the sit bones in front of the plane of the foot bar. Make the head heavy, lengthen the neck. 
after the challenge of the tendon stretch, the short spine stretch comes as a welcome massage. Make sure you lie down first, lower the headpiece, shorten the straps. Place the straps towards the heels on the feet and come to the starting position. Deepen the powerhouse in and up, lift the powerhouse up, lower the knees towards the blocks, reach the sit bones away from the heels and draw the heels down. So the rhythm is one out and up. Now take your time to work through the spine, focusing on that small of your back. Once again with rhythm out and up. Lower the knees, deepen your powerhouse, make sure the tip of the tailbone comes down before you lower the heels. Then on the last one, bring the legs overhead. Now let the straps come off the feet. From there, we transition with one flowing motion into the semicircle. Toes on the foot bar, press yourself out, melt into the well, try not to move the carriage, then press the carriage out, lift and draw forward. As you lift the pelvis up once again, try not to move the carriage. Keep it one flowing, even motion. Three in one and then three reverse, lift out, melt the chest over the edge of the carriage and stretch forward. So we open the shoulders and chest, and we open the hips front. On the last one, reach all the way up, bring the arms forward, take hold of the ankles and deepen the stretch. Control the return, center, and then we step off, turn around for the chest expansion. Always remember, place a pad on the springs. This for safety reasons. Hook the feet lightly over the back edge. Come to an upright position. Open the chest. Inhale, reach back. Look right, look left, center and exhale. This is one of the few neck stretches that exist in the method. So while you look to one side, stretch the opposite side of the neck. Stretch the left, stretch the right, exhale, center. Expand the chest not only forward, also side and back. Take the steps in one hand, add a spring for the thigh stretch. Draw the powerhouse strongly up, chin to chest and hinge back like a piece of steel. Hinge back in one line and draw up. We can take this one step further. Stop with the sit bones well off the heels, open the chest, shoulders and head goes back. You understand why you need that pad on the springs. Take the steps in one hand, step off. Go back to only one spring for the arm circles. Kneel with the heels firmly against the blocks. Lift the powerhouse in and up and work strong circles from your center. Slide the shoulder blades down the back every time you lower the arms. And we can also reverse those circles. Continue working within the peripheral vision, always in front of the plane of the body. We now continue with the snake and twist. Place the foot firmly on the bar, then one hand on the shoulder block, one hand on the carriage and place the other foot without any weight in front of the standing leg. For the snake, reach out, inhale, bring the hips towards the edge, exhale. Inhale, pull up in the powerhouse and bring back in. The twist, we wring the lungs empty. Inhale, lift up, draw back in. One more, inhale, reach out. Exhale completely, lift the powerhouse, then draw the carriage back in. First place the foot, hand on the shoulder blocks without moving the carriage, lift up into the snake, bring the hip square to the carriage, lift up to the powerhouse, work the breath strongly, an inhalation on the way out, wring the lungs empty, 
lift up, inhale, and with control, bring the carriage back in, exhaling. Make sure there is no weight on the leg or foot that is in front of the standing leg. We now move on to the corkscrew. We work with two springs and make sure the headpiece goes down. Place the hands behind the shoulder blocks with the upper arms firm on the frame. We start upright. Roll to the right, 45, 45, center 45, left and back up. To the left. Make sure you honor every position, 45 degree on the right, center left and all the way up. Make it one continuously movement. Inhale on the first half of the circle, exhale on the second half. A fun challenge is the step of control. Make sure you bring your head in front of the shoulder blocks. The arm on the side you will step off comes down, the other hand comes on top of the shoulder block. Lower one leg while you reach the other leg up to the ceiling. Make sure the leg goes on the outside of the frame. Press off and come to a balancing position. With one flowing motion, come back up to the center, lift the legs up. Change the arm position and lower the leg. The inside of the shin bone gently brushes the frame of the reformer. Once again, press on the hand on top of the shoulder block and in one movement come to a balancing position. Center yourself and lift both legs center. And with control, slide down. Make sure the pelvis comes down on the carriage and doesn't drop in the well. We now move on to the mermaid. If available to you, place both knees and both ankles on top of each other with the shin bones against the shoulder blocks. Lift the arm well against the head. Reach through the side, making sure that the downside of the body is lifting. This to protect the shoulder. And then we will work the counter stretch. Lift and stretch. As we do this mermaid stretches, always make sure first to lift the spine before you bend over. Lift the spine. Now anchor the opposite hip, in this case the right hip. So we work with opposition. Continue lifting the side of the ribcage. Then you can go all the way out making sure the shoulders stay well on the back. Place the hand on the front shoulder block, lift the arm up against the head, create length before you stretch. Then we lower the foot bar, headpiece, for the long spine massage. After having prepared in basic and intermediate, through the leg circles and the frog, we now are ready in the advanced level to take this up into the long spine massage. The setup with the straps is the same. The rhythm is the same as the circles, but we now lift the powerhouse in the air. Bend the knees and come to the starting position, long arms. Reach out, lift the powerhouse, press through the heels out. Again, lift the powerhouse through, touch the ceiling with the toes, every time up to a long line. Keep a vigorous tempo. Three in one direction, three reverse. Continue lifting the powerhouse. It is as if the legs are suspended between the pelvis and the straps. Then place the headpiece up and we return to the circles. Crisp tempo with the accent into the powerhouse. We can reverse the circles, keep the tempo brisk, and we'll finalize with a couple of frogs. Once again, powerhouse away from the heels. Less work in the legs, strong work in the powerhouse. Then take the straps off the feet, and with control bring them in the well. 
We now turn around. Foot bar comes up for the knee stretch series. Round back, arch back, round with the knees off. Work with a strong tempo. Accent in. The breath can be sips of air on the out, out, and out, and out. Lift the powerhouse so we don't crunch in the lower back. The opening is in the upper back. On the last one, continuously flow. Stretch the leg on the way out this time. Make sure the knees stay the height of the ankle bones on the way in. Also make sure you bring the carriage fully out and in. Accent on the in. Then we are ready now for the running. Back to four springs. With one flowing motion, ease yourself down, lengthen the powerhouse and go for a nice rhythm into the running. Keep the accent on the up. It's a springy up, up, up. Pelvic lift. Try to keep the tempo even on the way out and on the way in. So you keep the carriage moving. Hold on to the same height in the sacrum pelvis. Soften the top body. The next series is the balance controls. We first face down. So as to be safe on the spine and not to compress the lower back, we bring the carriage into second gear. This is the same exercise as the long stretches, only now we face outward. Make sure the heels are over the toes. Hold with the powerhouse a firm plank. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. As a variation, you can take one leg up. Make sure the heels stay over the toes. Reach up. And with control, step off. Bring the carriage back in first gear. And we now face up. The same exercise as the long back stretch. You are on the toes. Press out and keep the chest and lift. As a challenge, kick one leg up on the way out. Continue lifting in the powerhouse, opening the upper body. With control, step off. We now go into the side splits. Secure one pad under the foot bar and step off in the center. Step to the stable part, which is the frame first. Then shimmy the foot out until it hits the shoulder block. Open the arms wide, press out and hold. Two, three, draw in and lift. Again, reach and hold. Stabilize, draw in and up in the powerhouse. As a variation, now reach out, hold the carriage still and bow forward. Lift, open the arms, open the chest. And we'll do the same with the carriage in. Once again, hold through the powerhouse, the carriage stable. Lift the chest, balance, and open the arms wide. With control, step the foot on the shoulder block in first, step to the carriage. Then we'll do the other side. First to the frame, then to the shoulder block. Make sure the feet are parallel and lift through the powerhouse. Hold, two, three, draw in, lift, two, and three. Again out, use a rhythm, three, and draw in. This time on the other side, instead of spine stretch forward, we go for the saw. Reach without moving the carriage. Hold on to a strong powerhouse to stabilize. Draw the carriage in and we'll do one more time the saw. Continuously drawing the carriage in. And balance. And once again, safely step off by coming first on top of the carriage and then stepping off the reformer. Next we work front splits. Bar comes up and we work with two springs. Step in the center first, foot on the foot bar and one foot against the shoulder block. Make sure you keep weight on the back heel and the outer edge of the foot. Try to have the front heel sinking below the foot bar. Make the pelvis heavy and then we go for balance. Reach out, have the front thigh parallel to the floor. If you're secure with your balance, you can stretch the leg completely. 
Sweep the arms forward, lower the back knee, parallel the leg. Open the chest and bring the hip forward and up. So once again, powerhouse in and up to deepen the stretch front. Have the accent on the front lift. You can deepen the lift by even bringing the arms up to the ceiling and then one arm over. Always make sure you bring the front leg up first, then walk back to the shoulder block. Careful not to turn out in the back leg. Protect the knee. Let the upper body be heavy, let the head be heavy. Come to an upright position. Gently press the head into the hands to open the chest and the shoulders. Pull the left hip back, draw the right hip forward. So we square the pelvis at all times. Lower the knee, parallel the leg, and make sure the heel is firmly against the shoulder block. Reach forward. Keep the focus on the in and up. Not only stretching the front of the hip, but also deep in the abdominal wall. We can increase the stretch by sweeping the arms up, lifting the chest, one hand against the knee for stability and stretch over. A third variation in the split series is the Russian splits. This time we face back. Place a pad on the headpiece and then place the foot on the foot bar first. The heel on the horizontal bar, the ball of the foot on the vertical bar. The other foot comes in the middle of the headpiece. The first part of the Russians is on strength. The second part is on stability. Always make sure that heel stops under the knee. The last part, we work on stretch. Move the heel up, split. Make sure the lower leg, the front leg doesn't collapse. For that reason, we place the elbows on the carriage. To draw up, draw the sit bone of the leg that is in front up to square the hips. Make sure you first bring the front foot back, then take off the back foot. Once again, heel against the horizontal bar, ball of the foot on the vertical bar. Work on strength. Stop the heel under the knee. Then work on balance. Lift the arms up, gently press the head into the hands and try to have the front thigh parallel to the floor again. Stretch the back leg as strong as you stretch the front leg. Lower the opposite ear to the shin. Reach the front hip up to the ceiling. To step off, always bring the front foot back first, then come off the reformer. And this completes our advanced reformer workout.